What's going on guys? So today I am out here at the Hershey RV Show in Hershey, Pennsylvania. This is the largest RV show in North America. And I'm going to film an Alliance Delta unit that you haven't seen before. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so first of all, they've come up with a lot of Delta units since I did the reveal with them uh, several, several, several months ago. The specific one you're looking at in front of you is called the 292RL, and that is going to be this one. And then they have the 294RK, which is that one. And I'm going to film both of these and uh, kind of let you know what it's all about. But today, this video is going to be the 292RL. And they're doing some pretty phenomenal things because the folks at Alliance have always focused on doing things a little bit different and trying to incorporate things that a lot of other manufacturers don't into their RV. So I think you're going to enjoy this video. Okay, we're going to start by taking a look at the numbers on this unit. This one has a gross vehicle weight rating of 9,250 pounds, has a cargo capacity of 1,406 pounds. I did a full video on recommendations on the types of trucks to tow certain types of RVs and you should definitely check back on that one because by those standards three quarter ton towable is what I what I'd use for this twin 4400 pound axles and it has 15 inch e load range tires let's go ahead and uh, go around to the inside first and then we'll come back out and take a look at the outside okay so I'm actually not going to go to the inside first I'm going to do the outside because we might get some rain and let me knock it out while I can so you have some really cool storage in here. They give you a lot of really great features right here. First of all, you have an awning switch to control your awnings from outside. So you're not standing inside trying to see if your awnings fit or not. I love this. Also love the fact that they do the same thing for your slide out on the other side. So you can actually control your slide out from the actual compartment in here as opposed to having to be inside trying to see if your slide out's gonna hit a tree or not. Love that. I love the fact that they put this table right here also, really nice. You have your water control panel way over there. So basically all of your controls, just like a fifth wheel, are actually housed inside and they're not just all exposed to the elements, which I really like. Nice thick baggage doors, magnetically held in place. Good slam latches. Again, I love that table. That's a huge, huge thing that is so simple, yet it oftentimes is kind of overlooked and you as a buyer then have to go get it yourself. So I love the fact that they put that there. Uh, let's look at tires and suspension. Goodyear Endurance tires don't have an upgraded suspension on it, but that's definitely something you could do after buying the RV, maybe after a couple thousand miles. All right, this is the 292 RL. Let's take a look inside. All keyed alike. Has the Lippert solid step steps on it as well. Has a glass door. Really makes it stand out and pop. Again, two awnings with LED light strips underneath both of them. Okay. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is much, much more conducive to the type of RV we would get versus the ones that they initially revealed. Very, very nice floor plan. We've got drawers here. Got a really good spot for a coffee maker. These are all thermofoil countertops. I actually have the show price here. MSRP 61,000. I think this is this one, yep, 44,999. Atrium windows, a lot of windows around this unit. Nice, really cool freestanding table. As you notice, no carpet in this unit at all. You have your theater seats back here. You also have your sofa, which turns into a large bed. From a floor plan perspective, you know, it's not groundbreaking. This is a very common floor plan, but they've done little things to execute well on it. Like even over here, they have storage behind your fireplace. You can open this up, slide it out, and there's storage back there. You know, Alliance is kind of known for this really cool epoxy resin countertop, but also storage underneath the, the end table, something that they kind of pioneered on and a lot of other brands copied. Over here, you have power USB on your reclining seats. You have your TV in place, and you also have hidden storage behind the TV, which is kind of cool as well. So this pulls out of the way, and you have some storage back there. Not a ton of it, but you still have a good amount. You have a plug back here as well for some appliances. Nice space next to the cooktops, a three burner stove oven. You can put a small turkey or a small, you know, pie or something in there. And more storage right here. Soft closing cabinets. I don't know if the drawers are. No, nope, the drawers are not soft closing, but the cabinets are. More storage there. Again, soft closing. Very, very nice. More cabinet space here. Here's your compact graystone microwave. And then you have your Furion 12 volt refrigerator freezer. Over here, a lot of good pantry space. Fuse breakers below. 
Again, you got your coffee station right here, which I love. More storage down here, and more storage up top. It's a nice setup. They say they have taller slide outs, which are really nice because you can actually walk underneath the slide out unless you're super tall. Very cool. Two AC units also, and then over here, you have a Bluetooth speaker in the wall, or in the ceiling. Very nice. Your sink upgraded with a little sprayer handle, single base and stainless steel. I like how they offset the sink this way so you have more space on this side. And they put shut off valves on everything. Basically, in case you have a leak, you can shut water off to the specific component so you don't have to turn water off to the whole RV. Right here, you have your control panel for everything. Uh, Alliance was one of the brands that pioneered kind of going back to this from some of those more complex touchscreen systems that tend to have more problems. So they love the fact that you can access everything super, super quick. Your thermostat. Now this is a really nice bathroom for a travel trailer. Very nice. Lots of storage right here. You have huge medicine cabinets right here. Huge stainless steel sink bowl. A lot of space, spot for your toothbrushes, soft closed lid, which you don't see on a lot of RVs, porcelain foot flush toilet. You also have a huge shower stall, place to hang your towels. Very fifth wheel style bathroom, love it. Coming here, you have a nice window in the hallway too. You typically don't see that on travel trailers. Then you can slide the door closed here. You have another window here and one on the other side with your emergency exit. You have these nice resin poured tops with hidden storage underneath. Then you also have more storage here and more storage right here. Plus all your power connections, USB behind everything. Got more storage inside of here. Got a place to connect your TV cable. That's your backer location. More power cable satellite connections up here. Wardrobe drawer there. Another wardrobe drawer right there. Very nice. What do you guys think of this? I think it is a super cool floor plan. And you know, it's very common, like I said, it's rear living rooms, rear living room. There, there are a lot of reasons why, whenever you look at rear living room floor plans, they look the same, but there's subtle little things that they just do really well, right? Flush slide outs, you know, no carpet, no vents that you can see in the floor, hidden storage behind the fireplace, underneath the armrests, behind the TV. It's all subtle, right? A lot of the stuff in here is super subtle, but it's also really cool. Plus the storage outside with the table already in there, how they give you the buttons to open up your awnings and your slide outs outside of the RV. Again, really, really nice things built into this RV that make it really convenient to own. I'd love to know your thoughts though. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.